Hello and welcome to our service on this, the feast of our patron saint, Saint Patrick. It's also the fourth Wednesday in Lent and I'm recording the service in St. Luke's Church, Les Confere. And as we pray today, we pray for all those who have asked of our prayers and we are mindful especially of all those families who have been bereaved in these past few weeks. Our service is a service of evening prayer and you will find this on page 101 of the prayer book. The Lord be with you and also with you. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship, praise and thanksgiving, to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness, to hear his holy word proclaimed, to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world, and to pray that in the power of his spirit we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. Let us confess our sins to God our Father. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may walk in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue with the order of evening prayer on page 109. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we say the first canticle, a song of the light. Hail, gladdening light, of his pure glory poured, who is the immortal Father, heavenly blessed, holiest of holies, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now we are come to the sun's hour of rest. The lights of evening round us shine. We hymn the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit divine. Worthiest art thou at all times to be sung with undefiled tongue. Son of our God, giver of life alone. Therefore in all the world thy glories, Lord, they own. The first reading today is taken from the book of Tobit, chapter 13, beginning to read at the first verse. Then Tobit said, Blessed be God who lives forever, because his kingdom lasts throughout all ages. For he afflicts and he shows mercy. He leads down to Hades in the lowest regions of the earth, and he brings up from the great abyss, and there is nothing that can escape his hand. Acknowledge him before the nations, O children of Israel, for he has scattered you among them. He has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him in the presence of every living, be living being, because he is our Lord and he is our God. He is our Father and he is God forever. He will afflict you for your iniquities, but he will again show mercy on all of you. He will gather you from all the nations among whom you have been scattered. If you turn to him with all your heart and with all your soul to do what is true before him, then he will turn to you and will no longer hide his face from you. So now see what he has done for you. Acknowledge him at the top of your voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I acknowledge him and show his power and majesty to a nation of sinners. Turn back, you sinners, and do what is right before him. Perhaps he may look with favour upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my soul rejoices in the King of Heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The appointed psalm for today is Psalm 145, verses 1 to 13. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name for ever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. 
One generation shall laud your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendour of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading today is from St. John's Gospel, chapter 4, beginning to read at the 31st verse. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Surely no one has brought him something to eat. Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to complete his work. Do you not say... Four months more and then comes the harvest. But I tell you, look around you and see how the fields are ripe for harvesting. The reaper is already receiving wages and is gathering fruit for eternal life, so that the sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you do not labour. Others have laboured and you have entered into their labour. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we say together on page 110, the canticle Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham, and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And we continue in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 112. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, 
and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers and grant our government wisdom. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness and let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, save your people and bless those whom you have chosen. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and let your glory be over all the earth. O God, may clean our hearts within us and renew us by your Holy Spirit. The Collect of St. Patrick's Day. Almighty God, in your providence, you chose your servant Patrick to be the apostle of the Irish people, to bring those who were wandering in darkness and error to the true light and knowledge of your word. Grant that walking in that light, we may come at last to the light of everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we join together in the Collects at Evening Prayer on page 115. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good judgments, and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that the word which we hear this day may so take root in our hearts that we, living in accordance with your holy will, may ever praise and magnify your glorious name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In a moment of silent prayer, let us bring before the Lord our own private intentions. We gather these and all our prayers as we say together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. A very happy and blessed St. Patrick's Day. I hope you can enjoy it in so far as we can with the restrictions at the moment. And God willing, this will be the last St. Patrick's Day under a lockdown. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Gomani di vilakoto shiv, tahar vak agasan spirit nave. Amen. Banakti nafela lalaparik. Weak is the dear.